being in a place um, where a lot of the rich folk retire to, there's been some rich people who have lived in this town. Um, including Tom Cruise has a place here. Shania Twain has a place, or had a place here. She moved. I delivered to her old house, though. Um, Dave Thomas, the guy who, you know, ran Wendy's restaurants. I, did, I still d deliver to his sister. I thought for a little bit that I actually delivered to Wendy, the person he named the thing after, but I think it's his sister. I'll ask her next time I see her. But I don't, you know, he, he died fairly recently, and I don't want to be um, button, you know, bringing up bad stuff. Uh, Sidney Crosby lives down here, and he practices um, about three miles away from where I live, uh, the hockey player. Louis Tion, the famous Red Sox player, lives down here. Mike Greenwell's uh, park is down here, too. Another Red Sox player. I remember when I went to a game with my dad and this company up in Massachusetts a long time ago, and they had to bet, you know, just a stupid... Uh, bet which inning will have the most runs for the Red Sox, and um, I chose my inning that I thought would be the inning. Did I already clear this all out? There's nothing here. Wow. Um, and I was probably I was too young to be making bets, basically. Oh, there's a skeleton up here. My pickaxe ain't going to make it. Oh, there's two. Um, and Mike Greenwell, the inning that I chose for the most runs in an inning, Mike Greenwell ended up hitting a grand slam. So, I'll always remember that. But he is, he's, uh -oh. he's got a, uh, Nice, fun park to go to. This is a double ravine. Hmm. He can't make it up here, though. A ravine that way, and a ravine this way. There should be lots of diamonds down here. Hmm. Sorry, guy. Are you going to come down and get me? I didn't even make remake a bow yet. I don't think I'm going to go that way just now. Let's me... Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? I do have plenty of iron to cook up. I... Do I need a pick? I do need a pick. Fuck. Let me go make a pick. Wee. Oops. Who else lives down here? A lot of Fortune 500 people. And they're all in the, a certain gated, or there's two gated communities down near the water um, where they all live. And it's just amazing to see the types of cars that you have in there. 
You can tell when season's coming because you'll have the exotic um, car carrier things and they'll pull up in front of the gated community and they'll wheel off a Lamborghini, a McLaren and, you know, a couple of Aston Martins and, you know, the nice Jaguars, the Maseratis. So it is a different type of area because there's the low and the high class people together. I'm just waiting for this one and I'm going to go make a pick and I'm going to explore that other area. Probably should make two picks. Let me just see something real quick. Lots of thumbnails. Yeah, I've been recording for an hour and a half. And really nothing has happened other than my death. And you finding out about chocolate cream stuff. Oops. So, bollocks. Come on. The, um, the high I deliver to every Saturday um, is where the Red Sox stay during spring training, which is kind of cool. It's funny, I, um, I, I see the cars and the tented windows of the, you know, license plate that you know you're looking at somebody who plays sports and, and you just want to know, but I haven't. Even though I talk about them a lot, a lot, I don't actually really watch enough games to recognize a lot of the players on the team, so I support. Where is... There it is. Oh, hi. Thank you. Are you going to do that too? Come on. I was trying to get him before it blew up. But I guess I don't have the three attack on my pick. Oh, shoot. I guess we'll make a stairway. Let's go check out this ravine. That guy blew up right in my face, too. Thank you for not killing me. I guess we'll check out this ravine first. I kind of like... Oh. As I say that, I fall. Hey. I was going to say, I kind of like hanging up on the... Oh, that was kind of a dud-like ravine. I like exploring ravines top down because then nothing can fall on you. I don't go crazy on ravines too. Um, if there's ore, unless it's something I desperately need, at a higher height, I won't get it. But if I can reach it this easily, I will go get it. But if it was like up here, I probably wouldn't go up there. Unless it was something I really needed. And usually that means uh, iron or something if I don't have a golem farm or something. That was pathetic. I'm still upset that I died. That set me back a good two to three hours. So 
So I keep asking people what I should talk about and stuff. It's really hard to keep momentum going talking wise in these things. <coughs> that was part of the reason why I got into this is so I can figure it out better. All this to get a couple pieces of coal. And um, I don't know if I'm going to stop at 100 episodes also. And I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm AFKing somewhere. I was thinking of recording the AFKing or really just not doing the AFKing but having, you know, story time. Which would be better story time than I give you in these episodes because, ouch. When I'm, you know, I'm, as Stacy would say, I'm a guy, so I can't do two things at once, so I can't play this game and talk. But if I'm AFKing and just watching mobs falling, I can tell a pretty good story. But when I'm concentrating, even if it's just as simple as cutting some blocks like I just did, I have a really hard time. I have a really hard time. I don't know why, because it's not like going after coal blocks really takes lots of concentration, but it's enough to embarrass me on my abilities. Um, but that's okay. I'm plugging through. Like a good plugger does. I'm plugging. Plugging away on the nice of a new day. Whereas Lind would say, I'm living the dream. That's the dream. Getting coal in a ravine. But the good thing about mining, yeah, I was at well, like 27, 28 levels when I died. And already just by getting some coal and stuff, I'm back higher. Oop, there's a cave up there. Um, I'm just going to pillar up. Hopefully nothing shoots me. And put... Oh. Did I really? Okay, I guess I did. I went to put a torch in there, but I fucked up. Uh, I probably put out the other stuff. The waters I'm talking about. Because water is annoying. I see you, keeper. Is that where you are? Oh, that one's way up. Whoa. Whoa. Water streams are tricky for me. Is that something waiting for me on top? Nope. It's good that I go up here anyways, because I think there's a cave system up here. And this is probably, probably within that 10 chunk area that I was going to... Oh, so that's where the cave goes. I'm going to leave that there for now. Oh, that was one hell of a cave system. Um, there is nothing over there. Okay, here we go. Let's get this guy. Good, I got him before he blew up that time. I guess I shouldn't be doing that with the iron. Well, these are kind of duddy. I figure at what level? More screenshots. <laughs> oh, we're at 11. 25. I thought we were lower. So I think what I'm going to do
And just get this back. Back in black. You hit the sack. Start mining up, not mine, cooking up some of this ore. I do, did get some diamonds. But I do want to do the, the side uh, branches off the main tunnel that I made. But the problem when you first start a mine like this is that you, inevitably you're going to run into some pretty hefty caves because I'm digging 250 blocks out from the mine itself and you know if you're doing a straight thing underground in Minecraft for 250 blocks you are going to run into some caves. And it does take a while to clear them up. Clean them out. Make sure everything's okay with them. And that's why my recording time is already almost up before I even did a full branch. But dying also set me back a little bit of time. Hopefully that will be my last death for a while. That was a amateur death. Can't believe I didn't put myself out. I'm just glad I didn't have my, you know, typical work picks and silk touch picks and all that on me when it happened. All I had was crappy iron gear. Yeah, it was enchanted, but it only enchanted with one or two levels each. I did have the awesome sword. But it did have fire aspect, which I was complaining about, which is probably why I don't have an awesome sword now. If I didn't complain about it, I wouldn't have fallen into the lava. I kind of think that way sometimes. You're complaining about stuff. And, uh,. You know, the karma gets you back. I complained about that sword as soon as I got it. And karma got me back. I hear you, but where are you? More iron. Plus, whenever you die, it's kind of embarrassing. to my right. Did you fall down here? No. Nope. I think you're out in this direction. No, he's over there. There's something over there. Okay. So, let me go back. Let me just see what we're looking at I don't know if I have enough time to do that decisions am I the only one in Minecraft world that ends up hitting um, the cap buttons all the time whenever I play Minecraft and I go into the internet and start typing stuff it's always in caps there's a good cave in there so oh let's throw some of this in there let's make a couple more that's a good amount See once. Oops. Shush. Come on. Uh, 
metal. Oh, I do have more iron in here. Well, I guess I made a little bit too much. But hey. I have six diamonds. I'm not going to make anything with the diamonds yet because I want to have a good enchant. I am going to see how much of the side channels I can do. So let's go to the end and work our way back. And I'll show you exactly what I plan on doing. Gum, gum, gum. I'm having a starchy potato diet. I'm gonna turn all my stuff in the sugar and spike my sugar levels. Somebody who e eats as crappy as I have my whole life and, and as big as I am, I'm surprised. Um, I've never gotten diabetes. Boop. <laughs> 